So far I've made the tube plate and the throat plate. In this video I'm going to make the firebox tube plate. Okay, I'm continuing with the firebox tube plate and firebox uh, back plate. So I'm making an aluminium former so that I can flange those. So I'm just going to do this on a shaping machine. I've already shaped uh, the size to, to the correct width. I've squared off the end. So I've got the profile to do. So I'm going to just rough this out in the shaping machine. Okay, to hold this in the shape of ice, I've just drilled and tapped a bit of scrap plate, uh, M10, which I can bolt the workpiece to, and I can hold this plate in the vise. So I'll just take fairly light cuts, because it's only held on by one bolt, so I don't want it to move. Okay, I've profiled a couple of plates just by hack sewing and linishing. And I made an MDF backing plate. So I'm just lining this up by eye. Okay, so I'm just going to work on the edge again and get the edge down to the former. And then once we've got the edge down to the former, 
flatten it out and that should work okay. Okay, so that's the first little bit of forming done. So time to anneal. So that's it annealed and it's quite conveniently the, um, the scribed line is filled in with black after the annealing so that uh, gives a good guide. Okay round three. Okay, really starting to get there now, so time for another anneal. Okay, so that's it annealed again. So I'm just going to concentrate on flattening out the sides. It's bored a little bit along here, so I'm going to try and flatten it out on the face. And that should be it done. So it's pretty much fitting quite nicely onto the Former. It's still a little raised up at the ends so I'm going to give it one more kneel and then just try and flatten it out a little bit not that it really matters that much okay just to try and flatten it out a little bit I'm just going to put this former back in I'm just going to put it on the bench which is relatively flat and I'm just going to give it a squash Okay, it's a lot better. The sides are pretty much square. I can tidy them up a little bit more later on. It's pretty much square around here. Just to tidy up with a file. The thickness here is a little bit excessive now, so I can trim that back. 
and I'm going to call that done. So I've gone ahead and drilled the firebox tube plate the same way as I did with the front tube plate. And I'm just going to use the same uh, fixture to hold this for boring the larger holes for the one inch pipe. So it's just the same procedure. I'll just show you the setup quickly. Perfect. Perfect. Job done. Thanks for watching. And thanks to everyone who has subscribed. It's very much appreciated.